I'm a little bit greasy, Mr. John. I've been working on your Armstrong. Come on in, Peter. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a cloudy day in Lincolnshire. I'm with my Armstrong Sidley Lancaster. It's a 1949 16 horsepower. And the last time we spoke to Dad, he condemned the car. He said it's a death trap and you're not allowed on the road with it until he has done some work on it. What was the problem? Well, the chassis had cracked. Metal fatigue, we think, is the problem. There was no rust and no major damage caused by potholes or uh, a crash we think that it has just happened over time bearing in mind this car is 75 years old well she's got a few quirks and quaints this old girl I've been at work all week this week dad's been hard at work with the Armstrong Sidley I'm expecting him to tell me that he has finished working on the near side we'll have a chat with him have a look at some of the work that he's done have a look at some of the progress photographs take it for a test drive and see what we have to do next Good afternoon. Yeah, then. How are you? You all right? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, what are you doing sat in the Armstrong, Sidley? Resting. <laughs> You've been really busy working on it well, um, for the past week. Last time we spoke to you, you were taking apart the wheel and the suspension to fix um, some problems with the chassis. In fact, yeah. I think your exact words were, it's a fuffin' death trap, mate. Um, You've been busy, have you? Well, that bit there yeah. was falling off. Hang on a minute, let's have a look down there then. Which bit where? Shop over and top arm. Down all in there. Yeah, oh, oh, hang on a minute. It's got some new paint on that. It is good. Some old fella's been welding it up. And, <laughs> and doing it all. I'm guessing, because I've been working all week, you've had a good old go at getting it fixed. You have sent me some photographs of the process. So let's just take a look at some of those now. So that first set of photographs, we can see uh, the issue we had. Then you did some tack welding. Let's have a look at that. Then you sort of had done the welding and put red oxide on. Talk to us about that lead oxide. Red oxide, just priming it, wasn't it, mate? Just priming it, and then you've painted it. Painted it black with some black tarry paint. And away we go. Yeah, job done. So um, there were other things that you found, including we thought that the boots on the car were all rubber and rotten. Yeah. But actually you discovered that the original leather boots They're were right. okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at a photograph of that. And a couple of other photographs you've sent me, including like ball joint covers that you've yeah. repaired. Talk to us about that. Well, that's an old one off a Peugeot 406 I've saved. Let's have a look at that. So talk us through the process then. What have you actually done and what have you discovered? See that, that, that one there with the Peugeot 406 on there is there. <laughs> Show us that then. Let's have a look. That boot there. That, oh, yeah. That boot there is off a of Peugeot 406. So hang on a minute. We've actually now got French engineering yep. on our British post-war car. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, You've got a smart car router on your blooming proton, or no, a proton no, router on your smart car, what more do you want? <laughs> we're doing all, we haven't got a proton hooter hey, on this though. So let's talk us through it. It's inclusive, mate. Last time we saw you, you'd got it all to bits and said, I need to go away and buy some boots. Yeah. What was the first part of the process that you did? Because you've done some proper old school mechanic on took this car. Took all the front ball joints and that to pieces. So took the front ball joints to pieces and what did you discover? Nothing really, they just wanted a good clean out and yep. put back together again. Okay. Just clean everything up. Nothing was broken there then. So you've put the ball joints back together, put the leather boots back on. Yeah. How did you clean the leather boots? Because when you sent me a picture of that, I thought, blimey, that's, that's a beautiful piece of engineering. It was WD-40. And it, and it got it up nice and clean. Yeah. Do you think they're original to the car? I wouldn't be surprised. So they are nearly 75 years old. I wouldn't be surprised. Old. The rubber boots that I could get from the Armstrong Sidley stores were £23 each. They are blooming expensive. Yeah. £23 and I would need four. So nearly a, a 90 quid worth of bought, yeah. rubber boots. Well, we'll come to the bolts <laughs> in a second. But you've um, redone all the ball joint, the suspension. When we looked at the suspension arm, and the shock absorber, there was a piece of rubber sort of yeah, squidging yeah, out. I've just left, left that well alone. You just left it alone. You've not done anything to that. The shock absorber's working. I even thought, I'm not going to tinker with it. No, leave it alone. Yeah. And then it's I'm working. guessing you've done the welding. 
I have, mate. Talk us through the welding process then. Yeah, welding process. Grind the crack out, weld up, but I didn't make a strengthening plate, so now it's got a strengthening plate underneath it. So did, it's now stronger than what it was. Did you take the unit off, the piece off the actual chassis? No, did you, it in situ. You did it in situ. Was that a bit of a nightmare? I had to buy a new tool that you owned me for. Uh, oh, what did you buy? Power file. So you bought a power file? Yeah, you can it in there with an angle grinder. What did you uh, use that for? To, v, to cut a V in the uh, cracks. Oh, okay, and then you could fill weld them. Yeah. Was that a big deal, the welding? No. No? No. Okay, fair enough, good. Uh, what, day welding? Afternoon welding? The morning. Morning welding. Um, it took longer to clean it all up and prepare. Yeah, yeah, prepare the area. So you've made a new plate. What have you made that plate out of? Just some thick metal? It's eighth plate. Eight, what's that then? Well, Big old thick metal? No, eighth of an inch. Oh, right, okay. It's just a piece that goes up and across and then it's welded on, so it's, got, it's stronger than it was when it was new now. So once the welding's done, what have you done then? Cleaned it up, red yep. oxided it, yep. put some paint on it, and then yep. while that paint was drying, I took all the ball joints to bits and played with them. What have you found? Old grease. And you said you'd done some welding of some washers or some nonsense. Oh yeah, the lock washers were all broken, then you told me you can get them easily. <laughs> so you've spent how long refurbing some lock washers? Half an hour. <laughs> uh, let's have a take a look under here then and see what we can actually see. Do you think we can see anything? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Not until I take the wheel off for you. Well, no, don't take the wheel. You don't need to take the wheel off unnecessarily. Uh, you can see the new tarry paint under there and you can actually see the top of the uh, suspension mount there. You can see all this that's been refurbed. What is the um, red paint on here? Is that from a Nissan Micra? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> What's that telling us? It's just to say I've talked it up. Okay. I keep nipping out and doing a bit when I feel so inclined. Are you having a, are you having a sweet now? No. What have I told you about crunching sweets whilst we're filming? Uh, right, here we go. Let's have a look. You've got here. to be inclusive with me. I've got to be what? Inclusive. All oh, right. Oh, it looks better under there, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Let's get the camera in there. There you go. Why didn't you paint all this chassis? <laughs> That's all good as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, did you enjoy doing this work? Yeah. It's like... I made everything off there. I can all, see. It's been all in bits, that has. I can see. And put back together better than it was. So I think the next port of call is going to be... I'm going to do the other side. The other side. But we've got to take it for a test drive first, right? Right out. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Because, mm. well, we've got to check out the camber. Um, in fact, here's a good idea. Why don't we check out the wheel camber now? Doesn't that look better? Before we go for a test drive. It looks blooming fantastic, mate. Mm. That's wonderful, that is. Look at that. That's some good engineering in there. It looks a lot better. Great engineering, that. I'm, well, I'd be, I'm impressed with it because obviously it's fixed my car, hopefully, but you should be impressed with it. What was the camber of the wheels before we started? Ooh, I don't know what the actual degrees was. Let's get a, let's get a machine. What's that? Blackboard. Oh, it's your blackboard of destiny. Oh, see, oh, that's that's got all your camber details on. So hang on a minute, let's just have a look at, at that. Show us your blackboard. So this is how it was before, right? So on the off side, positive camber, <laughs> negative camber on the near side. Okay. Positive camber. Fine. So that hasn't changed, has it? That's how it was. Yeah. I think it's still the same. It's going to be the same, isn't it? Uh, has that changed it? <laughs> Watch. Yeah? So we've now got a positive camber on this side. That can't be right. It is, it is. What are you saying? This floor is not as level as the garage, though. Right. Because the garage is put on level. But hang on a minute. We had a positive camber on the off side and a negative camber on the near side, and now we've got positive camber on both sides. 
Yeah. How has that? <laughs> how has that happened? I don't know. Because we've we've welded, or you've welded. I've been underneath the tape measure, measuring from different points, and I couldn't find anything wrong. Well, how has that fixed that? I don't know. That has got to be infinitely better then, when we drive it. But you tell me why it's changed the camber on that side, and I've worked on this side. Well, you're the engineer, mate, not me. I'm I don't know the answer to that, mate. I can make it look shiny, but... Okay, fine. Um, should we take it for a spin? Yeah. Let's take it for a test drive, because my theory is this. If it's not fixed the problem, yeah. then it's something else. You tell else. me, though, this is the same as what it was when I checked it. Yeah. yeah. That's different. But I've worked, everything's been done this side. So all the work we've done on the off side yep. has changed the camber on the near yep. side. Have you swapped the wheels? Yep. You have swapped the wheels. Mm. Could it be a bent wheel? Oh no, because actually, hang on a minute. Bent axle? I've measured it all. And it's okay? Mm. I haven't got an axle, but I've measured all the su suspension arms from one point to another. I bet some clever person will be able to tell us why it's done that. So just welding that up has changed the camber of the near side wheel. <laughs> you tell me. Let's take it for a spin because actually with that information, I think it's going to drive yeah. well, much better. I hope so. I've put my smoke out. Yes, you can't smoke in the car. <laughs> That's not allowed. Smoke a pipe. All right, Governor. All, all right, right, all right. Governor, Governor. <laughs> Mr. John, Mr. John, <laughs> oh, come on Mr. in. John, sir, I'm a little bit greasy, Mr. John. I've been working on your Armstrong. Come on in, Peter. Uh, I'll tell oh. you all the problems with her. How are you? <laughs> right? Come on in. All the problems uh, with her. Hopefully, it's not as warm today as it was it last time. Me. Oh, she went going to reverse. When I get up to 70 miles an hour, I find, I find it uncomfortable. She doesn't seem to be firing properly. She's missing at the moment. We're going to get some plugs for it. Yeah, she's misfiring. Book. There we go. Come on, girl. Yeah, she's missing at the moment. Why is that What's that? She's not, she's not firing properly. I know it's not. Have I knocked the plug lead off? You haven't touched engine, have you? No, but... Right, here we go then. Test drive. Well, she's not Whoa. steering to the left now. At all. In fact, while I'm on this road and I can do it, she's pulling to the right a little bit now. How on earth has that fixed that problem? <laughs> Good. There you go. There she is. Amazing. Well, that's better, isn't it? That's amazing, that is. And just to clarify, you've not touched the brakes on the left-hand side. So all you've done is the brakes on the right-hand side I've done the steering though, mate. And refurbished done, all the steering. I've done the steering that was falling off. <laughs> but I would have expected the problem to be this side. So I'm not an you engineer you like yourself. You ain't tried the brakes though, have you? So not yet, let's carefully try the brakes. Well, they work, which is a good thing. <laughs> this is going, this is, this is all fun, all cylinders, shit. Yeah. She, she's still not... Yeah. Our far because the wheels are only just buzzed up, but they are buzzed up, they're not thought off. I'll go on the main road and back round. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I only just sort of rattle the wheels on. It's a different car, isn't it? It is a different car. That's unbelievable. So, what's caused that? Metal fatigue? 
this way. Because it wasn't rusty, was it? No. It was cracked. It's just cracked over time. Do you reckon it's cracked over time in my ownership? It's been getting worse, hasn't it? Well, look at it. It's straight as a die. It's probably happening, John. We haven't noticed it. But I know you did complain last time it was going to pull into the left. No, look at it. Straight as anything. That's fixed the problem, that has, mate. And it's not as hot in here as last time. No, that's last time was roasting hot. That was something to do with the ambient temperature. <laughs> <coughs> so are you happy with the results of the test drive? Well, it's better than it was fucking last time, dude. <laughs> Is anybody behind you? No. Look at the brakes are fucking good hammering. What's it like? Mm. It pulled to the left a bit. I uh, didn't try it that much, but the stopping distance wasn't great. Let's put it that but way. It never is, is it? So I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to be. I'm, in, I'm at 30. I'm at 30 in the 40. Brake, 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 brake. to the left. Yeah. It's pulling to the left a wee bit. Uh, it's not missing. Do you think? Yeah. Is it missing? I think so. Go on, girl. It's on all four, six there. I don't seem to have as much power. I don't think it's an all cylinder shit. I think we need to get some plugs to swap so we can clean them and then put it. Okay. Anyway, from a steering perspective, if anything now, it's going the other way. to the right, the other way. And you spotted, before we came out, something to do with the camber of the wheels. Yeah, we'll see what that's like after we've been... Oh, you're recording all this, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Why? You're going to have to edit it then, aren't you? Why? But I want, I want to play into the camera. <laughs> okay, you're going, to tell, you're going to show us to the camera. Fair enough. I, 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 I want to do it in performance mode. <laughs> Nice, it's bloody different, isn't it? It is a different car, look. Look at that. Beforehand, it would be pissed off into that bus stop. It was scaring me. It was, do you know <laughs> what? I don't think she's an awful fix. I don't think she's running right. Stop. Because she's noisy, and I'm struggling with power. I don't have power. But he drives like a different car. Watch what you're doing, then. Look at it. Yeah. It's enjoyable to drive. And I'm not thinking, I'm fighting with it all the time. Amazing that just welding up a piece of that chassis has made such a difference, especially to the near side when you've welded the offside. How does that work? I would have expected the fault to have been on the near side. But anyway, she's, on, she's missing on a cylinder, dude. I don't think that's not going to worry me too much. It drives and steers. And there's no rattle through my steering wheel like there was. There was a a knock, a rattle through the steering wheel. I'm comfortably sitting at 40 miles an hour on this road and it's... And actually it's not a good doingy doingy doingy, is it? What do you reckon? Not wasting our time, then. Not wasting our time, then. <laughs> I just wanted to go for a ride in it was before I touched the left-hand side. Albeit, I know I've swapped front wheels over. Do you know what would make this car better? Yeah, manual gearbox. Modern braking. Or an uprated braking system. Whoa. Yeah, the brakes. Because the brakes well, are... I don't think the brakes have even got really bedded in. Abysmal. The brakes haven't got bedded in properly from when putting new shoes on it. They take a while, do they? Yeah. And the awful thing is, no doubt, there'll be asbestos-free linings now. Yes. And say what you like, asbestos was all right. It was grippy. You've got it.
She's running a bit nicer now. Mate, this is a totally different car to drive. Good. Why would that crack in that chassis make such a difference to the to the steering? Well, it, was, it was altering the angle of dangle of everything. Because it was lifting up a bit, wasn't it? So that all bit. all the components. No, it's just it's, there's no weight on it as such. It's only the shock absorber and the top arm. But look at the, look at the difference, that. Yeah. Well, I, I think it drives smoother as well somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It's not boingy. It's not bouncy. It's not rattly. It's not knocky. Well, I've had all that suspension to bits and cleaned it out, haven't I? I'm going to do the same this side. I'm going to address all the faulty boots. It'd be nice to turn to turn that heater off, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you could always make an extra long pipe, like a. It wants another little radiator. A radiator, yeah. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. Yeah, she's missing there. I reckon we might do a little bit of ignition work on her when I've got it. Anyway, it's a lot better than when you first got it. Plumbing well is. Well, it would only do about 30 mile an hour if you was lucky. Well, when I bought it, what was it doing? Misfiring? Wasn't running yeah, properly? The... It was retarding when it should have advanced. Uh, Valve clearances was all wrong. The valve, it sounded like a machine gun. Valve clearances were all wrong. Brakes needed a refurb on the front. Like you said in the previous video, there's always something you can do to it. Always something you can tinker with it. I've been all blinking weak tinkering on it. Well, that's because you enjoy tinkering with it. She's missing a bit, isn't she? I reckon you might get My trapped. pedal is to the metal there. You do, you need a, your pedal's to, it's not to the floor though, is it? Because I've checked it. It was, yeah. No. It was. Not all the way to the It floor. was, mate. I couldn't push down any further. The brakes are dangerous, I think, if you don't know how to drive this car. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, she's misfiring big time. Not big time, but it's misfiring. Are you happy with the test drive? Well, we've solved, we've solved one problem, haven't we? Are you wanting to go home or continue yes, test driving? Yeah? I want to go home. I want to go home. Aha! Orange smart car. Come on, missus. That one lives near. Amy. Steering feels lovely, you know. Good. Would you like to take it for a spin? No. No, Mr. John, I don't want to drive your Armstrong. <laughs> I'm just an old village mechanic. You have done some proper old school mechanic on this, haven't you? Yep. Proper old school mechanic. And I've got an 80 mile round trip to fetch some blinking uh, bolts. Well, it keeps you busy, doesn't it? <laughs> did you go on your motorbike? That's why, that's why I did it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you won't see me driving there in the car, I just got posted. I need to just go and get some nuts and bolts. I think I might take the uh, Triumph Tiger. It is missing, isn't it? It is misfiring, yeah. It's not driving properly. That's because we need some new plugs in it. It's had new plugs in it. Yeah, not under our jurisdiction. Has it not? We need a set of plugs that we can swap and have a set of clean set to put in. It might need some new plug leads, yeah. It has had some new plugs, hasn't it? The champion ones. Put new caps on. Ah. What would you expect the life expectancy from a well, set no, of There's nothing wrong plugs. with the plugs, but you need a clean set to put in when you've got a problem. Well, and keep them as uh, spares in yeah. the car. And have another clean set with you, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can hear she's not running right there, look. She's struggling to get up to speed. Well, yeah, because it's been stood, isn't it, as well? Points to everyone cleaning up. But it ran well last week. Anyway, are you happy with the results of that? Yeah, it's a lot better, isn't it? It still pulls a little bit to the left, but... Uh, yeah, it's it does. It's running down the camber, isn't it? It does pull a little bit near the left, but... I'm not as panicking compared to what it was like. My pedal is to the metal now. It's not. It is, mate. Oh. It is. Was it like that last weekend? It's always been like that. Well, there you go. But what I'm saying is the brakes... I'm going to say it was, was last weekend. Yes. So I'm going to stop at this lamppost, right? Pedal to the metal, 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 stopped. Are you sure it's all the way down? Um, I think what I'll do, I'll get back up to speed. And me being me, I'll put as much weight on this leg as possible. Ready? Go. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> I don't think Mrs. John Cooper would be able to apply the brakes as hard as I can there. That's why you leave more room between you and other stuff. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. But it's not sliding all over the place either. It is sliding, dude. So it seemed to previously slide about a little bit. Yeah, all right. On the steering. Are you at home tomorrow? Uh, yeah, uh, no. Oh. I am tomorrow evening, but then it's festival of the unexceptional time. I do need some more break from it. You better get yourself down to OP Titan then, I could. Probably out of money. <laughs> you better get yourself some more viewers then, I could. In the garage, sir? Yeah. We'll have it a little bit further to the right this time. Okay. Shall we leave it outside and then we can talk? Oh, yes, please. Rather. Well, in fact, you can have a look under the bonnet so we can, can see. pop it in the garage, can't we? Please to get out of this because it's getting a bit warm in here. It is getting a bit warm. Out you get. Thanks for that. Thanks for coming. Excellent. <laughs> so she's not missing. Shall I leave her on? Yeah, I want to have a look under here. So we're back from our test drive then, and as Dad identified, there is a slight misfire, uh, and it's not getting up to speed properly. It could be one of many different things. Could just be dirty points, could be a plug cap not on properly, could be a spark plug a bit dirty, could be something going on. She's all right, tick it over. Yes. Well, if you just check there, the exhaust. Yeah, if, you, if it's misfiring, you can hear it at the back. And was it misfiring then? Well, you've not touched this bit. No. Not yet. I made a prediction. We're going to finish up with a set of plug leads on this, I reckon, mate. You reckon plug leads? I reckon we are going to do. What's your theory behind, behind plug leads? Breaking down on the load. It might just be the cap. Got another distributor cap, haven't we? Mm, uh, yeah, probably in the boot. Is it just a distributor? Was there a cap with it? Have a look, it's in the boot. I'm not panicking, Grommet. Not panicking. I need that on a T-shirt. Not panicking. Right, so what's next? I'm going to dismantle all that side suspension. Yeah. And service it. Suspension as well, yeah? Suspension, brakes. And we'll do the same as we did this side. Good. Thanks for that. Yeah. Because it needs doing, doesn't it? Yeah. I think so. If you think so, I think so. 
give it all a good good checking over. And then I could put it back in the garage, not drive it for a year, and you could do exactly the same next year. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm gonna feel that brake pedal now. So let's see if we get a bit better pedal, shall we? Do you think it's bad? Well, it's not to the deck. It's not to the deck, but... Uh, not perfect though, is she? I still think them front shoes aren't banded in for you, yeah. Mm. Fair enough. I remember putting new shoes on my mum's Ford Anglia and the brakes was awful for about a week. Well, the brakes have been awful for more than a week, mate. Yeah, but you ain't been any miles in it, are you? Not really. Right. Well, we'll get it back in the garage then and we'll do round two. There it is then. Uh, lots of work done on the Armstrong Sidley. The full rebuild, really, of the suspension system and the chassis on the offside. We've taken the car for a spin and, well, Dad's in agreement with me. Although it's misfiring a little bit, it does drive like a brand new car and it is nice and straight on the road. We can't get our head round the fact, though, that we've done the work to that side and it's changed the camber this side. So if you are a clever person and can explain why, let us know in the comments below. Next then, Dad's going to tackle the near side, take all the brakes to pieces, take all the suspension to pieces and pretty much rebuild it to the point where he has got it exactly the same as the offside. There's no cracks as far as we're aware in the chassis this side, so no welding but uh, who knows what we might uncover this side. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you enjoyed the little test drive, let us know in the comments down below. It really does drive like a different car. So much more Armstrong Siddeley content to come on the channel. And uh, I think Dad is enjoying tinkering with this one. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button and comment down below. We really uh, enjoy getting your comments and we read every single one and try and reply to them all as well. From us here in Lincolnshire, thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.